Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how to make a seamless pattern on Photoshop, or at least my very noob attempt to make them. But before we start, join the Bacon family and let me know in the comments what would you like to learn next. I will try my best not to confuse you even more. The basics. I am using the Photoshop Elements 2018 version that is only a one-time payment and no monthly subscription. And I also have a Huayong, 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 Huayong drawing tablet. I don't remember the full name, but this one here on the screen. I draw a lot on the computer, but this is not a requirement. Glasses. Let's make it in centimeters. Centimeters, 20 by 20. The resolution, I never changed the resolution here, but let's put it a little bit higher. So now we have a very square square. Either draw something. Where's my pen? Pen, pen, pen. And I have the tablet settings. Size and opacity. Mm. Excuse me, I need to move the microphone to the other side. Much better. <laughs> we need a new layer. I want a black swirl. Oh, so beautiful. And in addition to that, I want a picture of something. This beautiful face. I want to make a pattern using a sushi face. Quick selection tool. Everything is quick selected. Just a sushi face. Let's fix it a little bit. There is no math involved in this, thank God, because Photoshop does everything for you using the filter. <coughs> offset filter. Using the offset filter. So we have a sushi that I want to put in the corner. First duplicate this because I might need more sushi. Filter, other, offset. So you can see that it will duplicate itself half half. But do you see this over here? That means that my pixels are bigger than they should be. Sometimes that happens for whatever reason. I have no idea why, but I just go in a little bit and it will be the size that it needs to be. First I thought that my pictures were bigger and they had invisible pixels everywhere but it's random when that happens. I have no idea how. Offset again. So I want it here. And see how far away it is? It didn't offset at all. I have no idea why this happened but sometimes it does. I always leave one copy of my originals in a group under here so if I do some mistake I will have one original. I turn that into one single layer and now I will try the vertical offset again because it might work. See, now it worked. Magic! So we have this and I have my originals here in group one so I can duplicate them again and bring it hip here. Again, this is how I do it and there is maybe a better way but I, I don't know it. Once I have this big layer, what I will do is I will offset again to see where I have empty spaces. And where I have empty spaces, I will try to add elements to it. Like here, for example. And this is the pattern that we have right now. Gray background just for testing. That looks nice. Edit, define pattern. And this is a sushi pattern. What do you think? I think I will have this printed. How ridiculous is this then? <laughs> it's very quick, it's very easy. It's easier than Corel. What I like about Corel in difference to the Photoshop is because Corel is a vector program and I have more freedom to change the element when I draw them myself. Because once you draw them in Photoshop, a line is a line, you either have to erase and start over or you erase and start over. But Corel, you make a squiggly line and you can make it straight again. You can change things. I'm not really good at freehanding on Photoshop because of my earthquake hands. With some stability, it actually works. The recap. So what else can we do? Let's make one only with drawings. Top 
tiger stripes in blue and they are all seamless in themselves so this is what i like about photoshop because in coral it's kind of hard because you have to calculate where the lines will be and it takes the freehanding part away from this so now we can draw something goofy on top of that because i'm all for goofy patterns what will we have goofy drawings Oh, don't give me Disney Goofy. Ugh. It's my own fault, right? A platypus. I need to know how, how the beak turns to the platypus. Any more. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, look at this face. I want better feetsies. Oh, look at this creature. Oh my god! Oh, give me this! Oh, I can't. Look at his feetsies. Oh no. I think I'll go for this. I'll give my platypus chubby feet. Ew. <laughs> What's the plural for platypus? Platypi? Platypussies? Protein. When I cannot decide colors, I go to this wonderful website called Coolers. I first find out what color I'm using already, 4519403, and I will lock this and I will generate a very nice color palette that will make my pattern look beautiful. Generate method. Complete complementary. Yes, look at this. I want this thing for the beak. Put the code here so I can now paint my platypus. Platypus, platypus, you're a pretty platypus. Platypus, platypus, you're a big pretty platypus. Platypus, platypus, big pretty, pretty platypus. I spit all over my screen. So let's give it some shading. You shady platypus. Platypus so shady. Oh, so shaded platypus. Platypus so shady. Platypus. You have to put highlights and shadows in the right places to represent its thickness. It's a thick platypus. Now start playing around with the platypus placement. Play with the platypus placement. Pink platy platypus placement. Play with the platy platypus placement. I'm spending way too much time indoors. Filling the gaps with platypuses or platypi. My name is Platypie! Oh, can I make a hiding platypus? I will make one platypus hiding behind the water or whatever this tribe thing is. It's a surprise platypus. Pla platypus. Let's turn this into a pattern. <laughs> Edit. Define pattern. Platypie on stripes. Tiger stripes, platy pie. I like this one as well. I think I'll have both of them printed. Saving the file. If you are to export this for printing, this is the original one. Not Do not export the one that you're testing because this is not the repeat pattern. This is the repeat pattern. So that's it. Export it as a PNG file with the background of your choice or either transparent will also go. And that's it. This is how you make a 100% digital Photoshop pattern. I hope you learned something useful today. And if you like sewing shenanigans and crazy fashion projects and bloody pie prints, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Bye. Platypus, platypus, you're a pretty platypus. Platypus, platypus, you're a pink pretty platypus. Platypus, platypus, pink pretty platypus.